purpose of informative writing is to teach your reader about something new using facts that will enrich your writing or make your writing more interesting. You'll need to use facts you found in a text source, watching an informative video, or some other way like researching on the internet or interviewing an expert. Take organized notes about your topic. Notes are short phrases or even quick pictures. Use those facts that you found and put them into categories. Now that you've got organized facts to keep your reader interested in the topic you're teaching about, you are ready to start your introduction. You'll want to start by grabbing the reader's attention. You can use a quote, tell an interesting fact, or ask a question. Then finish your introduction with your main idea or a thesis. This will clearly tell your reader what they are going to learn about. Now it's time to keep your reader interested with those organized facts. Start each of your sections with the topic sentence. Your topic sentence tells the reader what they will learn about in this section of your writing. Follow it up with information from your research. Continue with this pattern until you have covered all the information you need to. Topic sentence, information from your research. Topic sentence, information from your research. Now it's time to write your conclusion. One, restate your main idea or thesis. Two, remind the reader of your main points, but in a shortened or summarized way. Three, Close it in a clever way. Need some ideas for a clever closing? These are similar to catching your reader's attention in your introduction. Choose one to cleverly close. Use a quote, ask a question, show how you feel about the topic, or give your reader some advice. Let's review the important parts of a well thought out informational paper. Read each part with me. The introduction will grab the reader's attention and clearly tell your reader what they will learn about with your main idea or thesis. The introduction will be followed by information from your organized research. Each new section will have a topic sentence followed by information from your research. After covering all of your interesting facts, you'll end with your conclusion. Your conclusion will restate your main idea or thesis, remind the reader of your main points, and finally close in a clever way. Now you understand the purpose of informative writing, and you're ready to get out there and entertain people while teaching them some great new things. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Please check the description for linked products and don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.